this military dog named Lulu is highly decorated and has received numerous honors during his service. However, it is currently confined in a prison cell, waiting to be transferred elsewhere. Nobody dares to approach Lulu due to her fierce demeanor. All soldiers can only watch her from a distance, with her muzzle always securely fastened. Until one particular day, an expelled soldier Jackson receives orders from his superiors to tame the dog. As Jackson steps into the cell, Lulu immediately stands up attentively. Undeterred by fear, Jackson slowly and steadily approaches Lulu, using soft words to calm the dog. Gradually, Lulu calms down, and Jackson cautiously crunches down, gently petting her. Surprisingly, Lulu appears somewhat pleased and doesn't show any resistance, as Jackson feels proud of how he managed to tame Lulu when nobody else could. But then, out of nowhere, Lulu jumps on him and attempts to bite, making everyone laugh. Running out of patience, Jackson decides to promptly carry Lulu to their intended destination instead of engaging in playful interaction. On the way, Lulu keeps barking, and Jackson tries to calm her down, but unfortunately, the dog doesn't understand a word. In fact, she becomes even more agitated. To this moment, Jackson also grows furious, as successfully delivering the dog is his final chance to save his ass. Jackson also used to be a glorious soldier sent to fight in the wars, however, some brain injury gets him expelled from the war zone. For a long while, Jackson tries to get back to his normal life but finds it impossible. Frustrated, he pleads with his superior for another chance to war in order to escape from the difficult reality he is facing. Unable to resist Jackson's pleas, the superior assigns him a seemingly impossible task, to deliver Lulu to Arizona by car, thousand miles away from their base, to attend her handler's funeral, who just died in a tragic accident. Jackson immediately takes the job without hesitation. Lulu was a military dog with an impressive background. However, she had every combat trigger in the book. Eventually, the day arrives when her anxiety and depression become overwhelming, and Lulu is now forced to resign from the military. Understanding the reason behind Lulu's behavior, Jackson assures her that he will get her to the funeral on time. Surprisingly, Lulu seems to understand and stops causing a commotion and becomes much calmer. When they stop halfway in a service area, Jackson discovers that Lulu seems much calmer, so he takes off her muzzle, preparing to take her for a walk. However, Lulu starts making a fuss again, irritating Jackson to the edge of exploding. Enraged, Jackson has to her alone in the car and rushes to the shooting range for some shots to calm himself down. When he returns, Lulu has already torn the car upside down. In a pet, Jackson stuffs a sedative into a toy and throws it into the car. As a result, Lulu is heavily sedated and falls asleep in the back, where Jackson becomes happy again. Later the night falls, Jackson decides to get himself some fun when he notices the sedation on Lulu hasn't gone off yet. In a bar, he engages in dozens of conversations with strangers, but apparently, no one gives a darn about him. He frustratedly walks back to Lulu, asking for peace. At that moment, two beautiful women happen to pass by and notice Lulu is a military dog. They admire Jackson and invite him to their home. Jackson again abandons Lulu in his car for the company of the pretty women. After a while, Lulu wakes up and starts barking, causing a passing by dog lover to release her. After some intense moments of chasing and catching, Lulu is back in the car, and as they continue their journey, Jackson is busy educating her for being such a troublemaker. Sick and tired of Jackson's babbling, Lulu jumps out of the car. In an urgent moment, Jackson tries to chase after her but can't catch up. Lost and unsure of what to do, Jackson notices a trail of blood on the leaves. He follows it to a farmer's house, where he realizes that Lulu is likely inside. However, before he can enter the house, he is shot in the buttocks with an arrow, leading him to be sedated and fall asleep. When Jackson finally regains consciousness, he finds himself tied up in a barn. With his fighting skills, Jackson quickly escapes the bindings. He soon discovers that it's just an elderly couple in the living room. To his surprise, Lulu is very calm and happy, lying before the old woman. The couple mistakes Jackson for a bandit from a neighboring mountain, but after they clear the misunderstanding, Jackson asks the old lady for advice on raising dogs. The woman stresses the importance of being patient and understanding towards dogs like Lulu, who also have fears of being alone and abandoned. Being psychic, she reveals that Lulu needs a secure home and, especially for now, a large and comfortable bed where she can sleep peacefully. With his newfound insight, Jackson continues his journey along with Lulu. However, this time he decides to give both of them a chance to make peace. When they gradually reach the city, Jackson decides to take Lulu to a luxurious five-star hotel, according to what the psychic has told him. To get Lulu a big bed to sleep in, he disguises himself as a blind person and dresses Lulu as a military dog, confidently walking into the hotel. The receptionist, thinking that they are both local disabled soldiers, offers them a free presidential suit as an exclusive privilege. Later, Jackson celebrates their success in the room, complimenting Lulu for her help. Jackson finally learns how to get along with Lulu. He puts aside his pride and speaks to her in a kinder way, convincing her to take a bath. 
they end up taking a bath together, and Lulu becomes calm and happy without causing any trouble. After a pleasant dinner, Jackson decides to go out alone for some fun, but Lulu doesn't allow him to do so. Reluctantly, Jackson takes Lulu along but doesn't expect that his troublesome dog will create another chaos. When they get downstairs at the hotel, Jackson is busy flirting with the beautiful receptionist he encounters earlier. However, Lulu, the military dog, senses something amiss and suddenly rushes off in a frenzy. Jackson hurriedly tries to catch up but fails as Lulu is way faster than him. By the time he reaches her, the dog has already jumped on an Afghan man, who she thinks it's a threat. Thankfully, the man is frightened but unharmed, as Lulu is wearing a muzzle. However, Jackson's impersonation of a disabled soldier in the hotel is exposed. In with Lulu, they both end up at the police station. Originally, Jackson is expected to end up in jail for his impersonation, while Lulu would be taken to animal control, awaiting her next course of action or decision. However, upon learning that Lulu is a military dog who has served with utmost honor, saving thousands of lives, the authorities make a compassionate decision. They choose to release both Jackson and Lulu. Understanding the importance of Lulu's final mission to pay tribute to her deceased handler. A day passes, and they continue their journey again. During a noon break, Jackson, curious for the first time, looks up Lulu's growth book. Upon realizing how well-trained Lulu has been, he decides to become friends with her instantly. They shake hands, reaching a deal to travel to Los Angeles to visit their family on the condition that Lulu doesn't cause any further trouble. Later, they stop by Jackson's family's front door. It turns out that he actually has a wife and a three-year-old daughter. However, after the battlefield, Jackson's mental health becomes unstable, which results in him not being able to cope with his family. His first attempt to reconnect with his family fails. In his frustration, he decides to take Lulu to visit her brother. However, a huge difference proves to Jackson when Lulu sees her brother. She is cheerful and calm and surprisingly friendly toward humans. Jackson finds it hard to believe that his fellow soldier has trained his military dog so impeccably that it poses no harm to others. As he reflects on his experiences after the war, he realizes there is no way he can stay calm and free from life's struggles. However, his fellow soldier passes along the message, explaining that military dogs often reflect the same struggles and challenges as their human counterparts. These dogs, through their training and resilience, teach a valuable lesson about overcoming struggles. Inspired by this, Jackson realizes that he, too, can learn from these dogs and find a way to stop struggling and navigate through life's challenges. After a short stay with their families, they embark on the journey again. However, the night becomes eerie as heavy rain starts pouring, accompanied by intense lightning. Lulu cowers in fear while the car suddenly breaks down. To make things worse, the phone service is also cut off. Jackson takes Lulu out of the car, running under the heavy rain, hoping to find shelter for a temporary stay. Later, they stumble upon an abandoned warehouse where they plan to rest for the night. However, an accident occurs when Lulu becomes agitated upon hearing thunder and ends up biting Jackson when he tries to comfort her. Furious, Jackson yells and scolds Lulu but soon realizes that she has mistaken the thunder for an explosion, a consequence of her battlefield experience. Blaming himself for not understanding her reaction, Jackson walks outside and reflects on the situation. He comes to understand Lulu's fear and trauma, just like how he suffers as well. Jackson returns to Lulu's side and does his best to calm and comfort her. He starts playing her favorite series and even reads her love poems. To his surprise, Lulu has stopped resisting and quietly eats the snack that Jackson offers her with his hand. The following morning, before sunrise, they set out on foot to attend the funeral of Lulu's former handler. After failing to hitch a ride, Jackson decides to run on the highway instead of wasting time. They cover a distance of over 20 kilometers, and when Lulu grows tired and refuses to move any further, Jackson carries her on his back and continues their journey. Eventually, they are lucky enough to arrive at the funeral in time. Jackson makes sure Lulu is stable before allowing her to approach her late handler's photo. Despite being labeled as aggressive, Lulu displays her gentle and loyal nature in front of her beloved master. Even in the face of firing gun sounds, she remains remarkably calm. With the mission completed, Jackson makes the decision to return to the army. He calls his superior, explaining the transformation he has witnessed in Lulu during their journey and his desire to keep the dog safe from being put down. However, the officer tells Jackson to stay away from the business as he has finished his mission. Not wanting Lulu to meet her destinated fate, Jackson finds a secluded area and tells her to leave as far as possible. However, whatever attempts Jackson tries to make, Lulu sticks around, not willing to go anywhere. Reluctantly, Jackson has no choice but to take her along again, deciding to wait until the next day to arrive and take her to the base. In the middle of the night, Jackson wakes up from his battlefield trauma. As usual, he experiences severe seizures and endures extreme pain with each episode. This time, it's Lulu who is there for him. Even though she can't talk, she places her head on Jackson's chest as a gesture of comfort and to help calm him down. Thanks to Lulu's presence, 
Jackson is able to regain his senses after a long night. Later when he and Lulu arrive at the military base, Jackson pleads with the soldiers to reevaluate her, explaining that she is no longer the same dog as before. He also requests the army to retest her to determine if she is still fit for service. However, the soldiers, again, ask him to stay out of business and bluntly pulls Lulu away with a hook. Lulu now knows the fact and starts whimpering incessantly. Jackson turns away, ready to leave, but sees Lulu in the rearview mirror. She is struggling and desperately looking at him. Overwhelmed with emotion, Jackson can't bear to leave her behind. Without hesitation, Jackson turns his car around and decides to take Lulu with him. He gives up on struggling to return to the war zone, realizing the valuable lessons he has learned from Lulu. In turn, Lulu finally finds another real family that will love her unconditionally. Together, they start a new life and embark on a journey of redemption. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance. Adam.